the city of lakes culture tradition romantic spots monuments royalty and many more to count to swagat hai aapka rajasthan ke khoobsurat se shehar udaipur mein khamba ghani so first things first we booked a boutique hotel named hotel ram vilas where we stayed for 3 days hands down credit goes to my friend geet and an amazing couple who run a travel firm called perfect life tours and travels Hotel Ram Vilas is a place which makes you experience luxury in a budget. It has got two restaurants and one lounge of their own which has super amazing food and ambience. This hotel has a beautiful art gallery of their own named the Rama Art Gallery. The best part is you get transport services easily available from a point only at walking distance from the hotel. So our suggestion would be to book an auto for the whole day whereas if you plan to go a little far take a cab. So on the first day we thought why not try and have local breakfast and we went to this famous breakfast point Jagdish Sri Namkeen. You can try kachori, samosa, chai, poha here. In front of it there is a famous temple Jagdish temple which is a must visit. Next we went to the most famous place of Udaipur or I would rather say heart of Udaipur city palace we entered the city palace by taking two tickets worth rupees 600 that is 300 each for palace visit we took the guide who asked us for a decent amount rupees 300 and who helped us know the rich culture and history of the palace Interestingly we got to know 40% of the property is where the current prince still lives with his family whereas 60% is converted into the museum open for visitors Step by step we saw different ornaments used by the queen their perfumes every part where they lived and etc It took us about 3 to 4 hours to learn and know about the city palace in detail We thought it was worth taking a guide otherwise we would just go click pictures and come knowing history not that boring one but yeah it was a nice experience because we didn't take a heavy breakfast we were very hungry so we thought to have lunch in the city palace luxurious cafe named palki khana we took a pizza a cold coffee food was good cold coffee was over good yum a little overpriced but yeah it's okay Then we had to take the boat ride on Lake Pichola. We took tickets worth rupees 800 each person for evening boat ride because sunset nahi dekha. So kya dekha? The boat took us to another point which is Jag Mandir. So exactly it's not a mandir but a place built on an island in the Lake Pichola. It was worth visiting the place where we roamed, took pictures, had a cozy peaceful time and then it was time to come back and have our dinner. For dinner, we went to one of the best restaurants of Udaipur, Harigarh, where we had reserved our seat for the lake view site. full packed with amazing ambience our candlelight dinner couldn't be better than this day 2 and we had a breakfast in a hotel which is included in the package we took we decided to go to the monsoon palace for which we took tickets worth rupees 250 for each Monsoon Palace is also known as Sajjan Garh Palace named after Maharana Sajjan Singh of the Mewar dynasty. The history behind the name Monsoon is that whenever it was the monsoon season, 
king would come here and enjoy the view to enjoy basic snacks and drinks you can try chunda palace cafe next my udaipur visit would have been incomplete if i hadn't seen their traditional folk dance so we went to kumba kala kriti and saw the beautiful folk dance performed by phenomenal artists we didn't want to have a heavy lunch and we were walking near the fateh sagar lake and saw there are a lot of street food points crowded massively we thought why not try one and enjoy our lake view lunch today so real bombay fast food and cafe is where we ordered masala maggi cold coffee tawa pulao and dosa trust me tawa pulao literally won my heart must try it was time to celebrate our 31st night So we already had booked two seats at one of the finest, most luxurious, and famous Lakeview restaurants of Udaipur, the Opry. There was this folk dance happening there. People were having fun, beautifully located, candles everywhere, and we ate like crazy. Again, a great experience. <laughs> It was 1st January year's first day and we went to the famous temple Nath Dwara Srinath temple recordings weren't allowed so I couldn't make any videos then we had to have our lunch and we saw this little place jasmine and we stopped there to have our lunch last but not the least shopping we took variety of juttis flats suits sarees jewelries and variety like leheria block prints etc Now was the time to have our dinner and say goodbye to the beautiful city Udaipur. I loved you Udaipur. Bahut acha laga aur hum dobara zarur milenge. Bye bye.